American Craft Beer Week was designed to celebrate the culture and community of craft beer. It also gives breweries a chance to connect with their fans. Of course. Now, there are a lot of celebrations taking place all across the nation, including plenty right here in Southern Colorado. So, of course, John Martin is out there and he has more. The Brewers Association, who puts on the American Craft Beer Week, represents more than 2,300 U.S. breweries and 43,000 members of the American Home Brewers Association. Many of those brewers understand that working together builds the industry as a whole. It's really fun for us to see what other breweries are doing, how they're innovating, um, how they're collaborating. Uh, and we love to, to collaborate with different types of people, whether that's a brewer or a chef or you know a whiskey maker. Collaboration is really inherent in the brewing industry. We, um, we feel like we get a lot more out of it that way. Beer and food is this year's big push. So the Brewers Association is actually putting on this week, uh, American Craft Beer Week, and one thing that they're doing internally is they're creating a panel to kind of reinvent the way that we think about beer pairing with food. So they're throwing everything away. They're starting from scratch. Uh, they have a new scientist coming on board. They're meeting with different authors. And this will be a fun way for you to see what chefs are coming up with these days. This week, Bristol Brewing will be one of the many breweries around Colorado Springs teaming up with local restaurants for Pints and Plates, a three-day series designed to teach the significance of pairing the proper beer with food. So when we're talking about beer and food, a lot of what we're talking about it has to do with aroma because the aroma of whatever the beer or the food really affects the way that you taste the flavors. So this is our tulip glass. Um, it has our Imperial IPA in it because it keeps the volatilized aroma flavors inside the glass. You can stir it a little bit, it smells a little bit fruity, you taste it. A lot of what you're smelling is actually coming through your mouth and that's how you get the full flavor. You get those um, very aromatic hops coming through. Are you ready for your mind to be blown? I'm ready for my mind <laughs> to be blown, yes. Okay, so we just talked about aroma. Mm -hmm. So let's experience this firsthand. Okay, so here we have candied ginger. Okay. What I want you to do um, is plug your nose with one hand. Now I want you to pick up a piece of ginger with the other okay. and take a bite of it. So when you're tasting it, you'll taste the, the sugar, you'll feel the sugar, um, but it won't be until you release your hand that you really, you smell it. Whoa. Yeah. And you get the ginger flavor and the heat. And that's how important it is to, to smell while you're eating. And you're actually, in this case, you're smelling through your mouth. Like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually really cool. Like legitimately really cool. Yeah. yeah. Craft breweries have had many successes and challenges, but they could not have developed their reputation as producers of some of the world's best beer without the support of beer lovers globally. John Martin checking things out.